Hey guys, Alexander the Gamer here, and welcome to some of our Poland Let's Play uh, in U4. So it's 1633, so we don't have that much longer uh, until the end of the game and we're trying to conquer the entire world. So we're probably going to have to step up the pace a little bit. Uh, what I'm looking to do right now is do a double-pronged war, attack Crimea and Circassia at the same time, or relatively. Attack Crimea for Kizil Yar and Azov, and then attack Circassia for Sir Ka uh, or for Kaffa and Montega and Kuban. Just to secure more naval land here to build up more ships. On top of that, uh, annexing the Golden Horde, maybe expanding out more this way. Preparing to get oh, preparing to get voted in as emperor and then fix the HRE. Also, things we'll want is we'll want to push the Ottomans sometime soon. I want the Mamluks and Moroccans. Hmm. Ottoman manpower. They have, uh, any. Okay, they have quite a bit. We'll need to enlarge our army size, because right now we only have 64,000 out of 108,000, so that'll have to be improved. The other big thing that we're trying to work on is, like, how are we going to deal with Scandinavia? Because they're really big, and they're going to be a big problem for a long time. So, yeah. One might say, I don't know exactly how we're going to deal with it. And why are we getting zero points to annex the Golden Horde? Oh, because I have no diplomatic points. Go to Fort Maintenance and Mothball my 25 forts. I could build more forts out here or here or whatever. But I just don't feel like it's necessary. So what am I going to need them for? And then of course there's my fleet. Hmm. 3 heavy and 22 galleys is not enough to defeat the Ottomans. That's part of the reason why I want a bigger fleet. So I can build a fleet that will actually defeat the Ottomans. Now can I declare war on them right now? I have no diplomat. No, I have a diplomat. So why can't I declare war? Why well, we have a regency council? I feel like I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's two years that we have this regency council war. That's great. So we're going to want to stack up uh, manpower. We're stacking up almost a thousand a month, so that's pretty good. I find the current emperor is Portugal, and uh, we have two out of the th elector votes to be elected emperor. And it's going to be really sad, but there's only 26 princes. So we're going to get a lot of princes. Uh, uh, the big thing is to convert a lot of the princes, and we have to force people to be taken. Or, um, If I could talk, and then we have to force people to, um, like, spit out nations. We also have to force people to convert religion and convert their provinces. So, that'll be fun. Converting the religion of the one last province we don't have converted. Cool. Still Catholic, which is awesome. Availability to another stability if we need it. 
Austria is going to be a big guy that needs to fall. Because they have a lot of nations we could kick out. And now let's see, Scandinavia is an alliance with us, Bosnia is an alliance, Byzantium is an alliance, Moldavia is our march, Mines, Liege, Golden Horn, and Fear are all vassals, okay. Scandinavia, Royal Marriage, get that back up. Why is our relation so low? Was not given occupied cores and claims it. Okay. That's the big one. So we'll improve relations with them. Try and keep them in the here. Yeah. Because France won't help us and we need to defeat Austria, so. Maybe Great Britain would. Mm, I wouldn't mind if the Agency Council dies. Um, I could go to the British as my Protestant ally. Could try for that. Oh, manpower's capped out. Let's build some more troops. Build 6,000 infantry for now. We'll get back to that in a second. Golden Horde's about to be annexed slash integrated. There we go. Casimir the fourth window of the rescue. Is a king, a zero four zero. Terrible leader. All against him. Okay. Really? Center of Reformation and Rupin. I'm gonna take Rupin and I'm gonna convert it. Just cause that, then I'm gonna give it back to Brandenburg, all nice and Catholic. Hmm? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Mmm. The regime refused to the, allow the mobilization of more troops. Since the issuing of the Hinky Articles and the Pacta Conventa, the king had very little power of his own. It was to make policies of war, for example, so he had to have the consent of the regime. Sometimes the king tried to drag the country into conflict and thus force the regime to comply out of necessity or by building a domestic political coalition, which were changing tit for tat, but often the regime plainly said no. Okay. Recruitment time? Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, no. I I need prospering times. Invest in better urban infrastructure. Invest in better rural infrastructure. Best production methods. Oh. The points are all nice and but I'd rather have the giant I'm not trying to like the boost to development. So like, ooh, an air a four to four. That's gonna be pretty good. Integrating golden horde. Um, their army was two thousand infantry, a thousand cavalry. Another province converted. Oh, great. Mm. Christian lands. Or not. Sunni lands. They're gonna take a bazillion years to convert. Why am I losing money? Advisors, it would seem. And why do I need such a high Diplo advisor? I'm, I mean, I'm behind in Diplo tech, but that's doesn't matter. Not really. Because Annexon, I guess. Well, you can become a level one guy now. Here we go, making money. Um, back at full manpower. Okay. Build 2,000 more cavalry. 2,000 more infantry. Four cannons. If I 
Well, Britain is my ally. I should probably start now. For relations. Now. They'll cry me off. You win a breaking truce. Of course, until when... When can I declare war on you? 36. It's a year from now. I can declare war on these guys right now, so that's what I'm going to do. Their allies are Hejaz and Persia. Persia's tech 15, with like half of the defensive ideas. Should be able to wipe the floor with them. Oh, look at that. Crimea's got like a full load of peasants already. Nice. Nice, nice. New, let's go. It's my military traditions out. Oh, pretty good. I'm worth Kara. Don't worry, Byzantium, about coming into this war. Which makes up the big main bulk of that number. Of course, first off, that would mean they'd have to come up here. They're probably invading Korra right now. Or maybe not. Well, let's see what they do. There's not going to be a navy out here in this war. In the Fiamai Navy, yeah, there's only 18 ships. Eight of them transports. We occupy Gaffa. We're going for the capital. Now, for the most part, I don't really care about their stuff. I just have to get enough um, sieges done to get enough score to peace out for the three provinces that I want, which, quite frankly, involves taking a fort or two. The heck just happened. The Ottoman conquest of Macedonia. Okay, the Ottomans, Ardalan, Gasmog, and Shivan, uh, Byzantium, Commonwealth, Liege, Mainz, Moldavia, Tuscany, Tavir. Please, Byzantium, tell me you have another ally. Nope. Ah, crud. Which means there is now a nation in that war. Which you can make. Big hurt. I'll siege the capital. And I'll leave. I guess I can just rush troops down to con. Oh, never mind. That's not an option because there's already 45,000 troops across. Okay. Just win the siege already. Byzantium, get your troops out of there. They're about to be wiped. Or maybe not. Where are those 45k going? Only a war with me. Um, I'm rather fine with them attacking into the mountain to attack me. It does not appear that's going to be the case. They're going to attack me in the farmlands. We've won the siege of Circassian. That's cool. Whatever. This army. Now needed over here. This 17k stack is coming into Moldavia, the farmlands. They're going to take a minus one penalty for river. No, they're probably not. Cause they're probably no, no, they did take a minus one for river crossing. My morale is significantly better. Their discipline is better and their tactics are better. Why are their tactics better? Let's see here. Discipline. Oh. For military technology. 
they got 0.5 more from the technology and they got the 10% because they have discipline. So yeah, the Ottomans are going to be uh, easy cakes now, is what I'm picking up. Because that first battle was um, easy. That would be the Tuscan and Byzantine army. Because Tuscany has a lot of troops, actually. Actually, they're almost going to form Italy. All they need is Genoa, Modena, Verona, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth Navy. Uh, thrown in 1682, an creation of more fleet according to the needs of the Commonwealth through this thing. Okay, build a great navy. Gain 20 year old tradition. Start constructing five characters at the cost and I'm of the time. Gain stability. No, I'll take. Five free characters. No, wait, Carracks are the trade ships, aren't they? No, Carracks are the warships. An astonishing performer. I'll take 20 admin points, thank you. The Commonwealth occupied Buzu. Buzu has been occupied. Excellent. I like the look on the Ottomans' face when they're dis being destroyed at war. No, unfortunately, my navy is yet not yet strong enough to uh, to defeat the Ottomans. It's been to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere we go, it's beginning to look a lot. Okay, apparently the Ottomans have a ton of troops. So we'll send 19,000 into the fray. Because the 37 that's stacking that 40 odd stack is winning. And now they're going to lose to the 80 odd stack. But with my reinforcements, we are not going to win. They just have so many numbers, probably. Mm, I doubt I'll be arriving in time. 3.2 war score lost. Yeah, that's a lot of troops sitting on that one province. Yeah, like a hundred thousand troops that are suffering atrocious losses. Like, holy cow! That's six percent attrition. Okay, you're welcome to that, Ottomans. Oh, never mind. You're gonna split off most of your army. Okay, Ottomans, come. Let us see your numbers. No, 41,000 manpower left. Mm. Now granted, mine's not going to exactly be at the 97 that it says it's going to be at, but it's not going to be that bad. Oh great, these are farmlands that they're about to be tacking into. So... Where did my armies withdraw to? Our army, I guess. Now getting reinforced. You're coming down here. This is grassland steps, grasslands, okay. That is bad. Okay. I should have had a reinforcement sooner. 
Okay. So, uh, yeah. I said it was gonna be real easy winning these battles. I appear to have just fed you a load of bollocks. Because now I'm losing battles quite a lot. That should have destroyed the Ottoman manpower, but... And again, nothing guaranteed. And, uh, Moldavia's still over there. Sieging things. Deal with Gazmuk when you're done, okay? Yeah, our manpower is gonna drop like a bloody rock. I assume I cannot afford those ships, but whatever. Yeah, they, uh, slightly outnumber us, it seems. Constantinople- uh, Tuscany! What are you doing? Tuscany, Con Byzantines, get your armies together and start doing some damage. I think I've tanked enough of the damage myself, with my face. The Ottoman manpower is almost depleted. I also have, like, 30,000 less troops than they do. That would be part of the reason why I'm having trouble. No, don't go sieging things. Go dock. These all my sieges that I got done. And now they're going to wipe out you. Because you and the Tuscans didn't coordinate. And now the Tuscan army is trapped. Okay, maybe it's not trapped. Cassio Peace. I want to make sure I get the right peace deal. Okay. Let's get in position to attack these 37,000 troops. There's 33,000 there. Tuscany, what exactly are you doing? You're sieging that bloody goddamn island. I can sit those main troops there, I'm pretty sure. There's also 45 ships blockading Crimea's harbor. Which I'm sure I'd lose if I came out. Dang it, they got caught. And they're being obliterated, apparently. There. Tuscany, are you coming? Okay, Tuscany, what are you doing on it? You're sieging that island. Is what you're doing. That That's what you're doing. Right now we need you for more important things. Such as defeating the Ottoman Empire. What are you guys doing? Oh, we got 10,000 free manpower. Kill. Cool. Should be able to make this peace deal. I better make it now. Circassia, just give me those three provinces. Give me some money. And that's it. Okay. Send a man. Get off my back, man. Inspiring victory. Cool. Gasmoks are being occupied. That's good. Protect against the Ottomans. Sure. Once they're occupied, that should weaken the Ottoman army somewhat. 
hopefully I'll be able to distract them long enough for the uh, Tuscans to finish their siege there. Because I wouldn't want to uh, bother them. To actually fight this war. Yeah, the conversion is done. Here's 20,000 mercenaries, fresh off the line. Go oh, and mess up the enemy. Uh, Cardinal exposed. That's unfortunate. I'd like the Polish king to die. He's 51. Don't really care about the Cardinal. Tuscany, you have a job to be doing, but you're not doing it very well. I thought this was going to be a walk in the park, but the Ottomans just have so many troops and they just didn't display them all at once. Like a good commander. They have no manpower now, but they have 104! It's a lot. I only have 84 even after my mark escapade. It'll take a while for me to reinforce back up to full before I start recruiting more troops. Okay, mercenaries, go in. Let's just walk in. Nice. And so, we got this. Okay, so all the Ottoman troops are down there. Hopefully they'll stay down there. Tuscan troops are probably stuck on that island now that I think about it. Get the bloom and Ottoman fleet. Oh, really? Did I really need provinces to get converted? They attack me into the mountains, they're done. We win the war. Well, I shouldn't say that. We win the battle, but... There's not... Oh! That's grasslands. Shoot. Forty-six thousand... Ottoman... Or, forty-two thousand Ottomans. Four thousand al uh, vassals. Will we attack forces? Which we have arrayed in position. We have a number of the Ottomans. They have a minus one crossing penalty. And of course, they're a significantly better leader. And godlike dice rolling has done significant damage to my forces. As you can see, losses being comparable even though they should not have been. I should have uh, completely wiped out my opponent, the opposition. I'll stack with this little stack. Maybe I'll just weaken them some more. Tuscan army's not going to be able to do anything. That's going well over there. Cool. Siege occupations. if I can slowly kill their armies one by one. I'll be able to win this war. Oh, that's bad. Okay, let's just hurt. Because we can't march this way because that fort is there. Mmm. Thunk. Okay, that did not help very much. Oh, that's going to be painful. I lost before my reinforcements could even arrive. I should be able to win this fight. Apparently not. Uh, apparently the Ottomans... Suffer 100 losses. Holy cow! 
The Ottomans have. Oh my God! This war is so. They won't peace out with me. So what if you're making gains? I'm not the war leader. I'm the only guy that's hurting you at all. No, we don't want to peace you out. Okay. Well, now I'm going to sit over here and I'm going to regain my manpower for one last big push. And if Tuscany does not get off that island, the war is lost. Of course, we don't have enough ships, even if we all got together and fought them in one coordinated battle. We would lose. Even though I just got five new heavies. We would lose. Probably because the Tuscan fleet does not exist right now. This is uh, getting a little bit on my... Uh, I was supposed to be a significantly easier war than this. But... Tuscany didn't make that easy. Their numbers are so... But the 33,000 that would make the difference is stuck. I can't fight the entire Ottoman army by its by myself. Maybe if I was at full capacity and I had 112,000 men. But I don't. Now, if they were to attack the Ottomans, that'd be... Or not the Ottomans, but the... Uh, Who's on my faces? Byzantium just pieced out. Figures. Byzantium always pieces out. They didn't even take the war goal. Which is really strange. Okay, well, let's go take our handful of, uh, might as well wait until my stuff ticks down. Crimea. 5% Interesting. Kuban has 15% unrest for Crimean separatists. Really? Put them down. Time to finish off the Crimeans. Five new heavy ships. Bringing my fleet to 30 ships. Still not quite enough. I can get this ship durability. But I'm pretty sure I want military tech more. Gustavian infantry. It's a big one. It gets me a supply element. Military tactics. Saxon infantry. And a star fort. Not that I'm going to really use the star. Uh, the forts. I mean, I could, um... Upgrade forts. Nearly inflation reduction sounds like a plan. All this money needs to be spent somewhere. Let's build up. Whooping level twos. You're level two. You're level two. You're level one. You're level one. That's enough for now. Next time I'm declaring the war against the Ottomans, so I can bring in Scandinavia to fight. Our truce with the men's in 45, so five years from now. Will the Ottomans recover in time? I don't know.
this is the monthly war exhaustion so yeah I want to put all my admin points in here regardless of putting them into tech to get ideas I want to get the possible advisors not so much reducing flexion cost not so much the monthly war exhaustion down by the any amount is good even during war and leaders that keep is good and then advisor cost is good and there's gonna be a revolt in Crimea soon well you might want to do it before there isn't a Crimea to go back to oh the timmerance term investment or gain over a thousand ducats I can defeat these guys with just one army who wants to try and prove me wrong oh 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 there's only 12,000 men between the three factions. 5,000 of it belongs to uh, Strachan. Uh, appears to be coming from somebody else. The Timurids probably have a couple thousand troops down there. Persia is taking Karakoin. Garak? But the Ottomans. Well, when I said alone, I, well, I guess. I didn't take into account the fact that my army of uh, vassals would help me a ton. Just sieging them things. The big thing it just comes down to is just sieging these little one uh, these little uh, one month sieges. Like I'm already done with the war pretty much. I just have to get the war score. means one occupying this fort here, which will probably end tick. Oh yeah. Definitely done. Okay, that's done. Don't want to spend any more manpower. Full regain rate. Would you be willing to part with two provinces? It's just like, no! We don't want to! No! You can't make us! Yeah, you and your 5,000 men. You and your soon to be occupied capital. More men are trained, I guess. I don't know. I don't. I didn't. I guess you don't build men. I guess you, you train them. But it's just formality. Alliance. Commonwealth in an offensive war. One hundred and Commonwealth has too many diplomatic relations. I did not know that that was a thing. Okay. The heck is going on with your guy? He's gonna live forever, apparently. Are you willing to accept our peace deal now? I take the two provinces that I want. Okay. I could have taken more if I wanted. I could have. That is not the point, though. I don't really care about conquering the rest of Crimea. I just want to naval provinces to allow me to build more ships. And just provinces in general makes for more money and men for the land army. Because the land army is where the power is. Hoorah! My manpower is almost recovered. 
So, uh, it's gonna be the end of the episode here, guys. Uh, I'm Alexander Gamer. Hope you guys have a good day.